Greetings, Diocese of Olympia and all who may be watching. The first Pride March, by most accounts, was June 28, 1970. I was exactly seven years old that day. I have no recollection of it at all. In fact, it would be a while longer before I knew what all of this was about. However, I remember in my later years and my Southern upbringing as this event often being derided, criticized, protested, and pretty much shunned. In short, if you were a God-fearing Christian, you shouldn't be caught dead there. In fact, even after the church began to wake up and to really make authentic overtures to this community, welcoming them in, if even in uneven ways, pride was still outside the pale. It took the church a long time to evolve on this, and in fact, much of Christianity still hasn't. But I'm thankful that the Episcopal Church has been showing up more often than not in the past few decades, and I'm proud that the Diocese of Olympia has always had a presence in my time as bishop. The month of June was chosen by the LGBT Pride Month to commemorate the Stonewall Riots, which occurred at the end of June 1969. As a result, many Pride events are held during this month to recognize the impact that these folks have had in the world. Two presidents of the United States have officially declared a Pride Month. First, President Bill Clinton declared June Gay and Lesbian Pride Month in 1999 and in 2000. Then from 2009 to 2016, President Barack Obama declared June LGBT Pride Month. Donald Trump became the first Republican president to acknowledge it in 2019, but you won't be surprised to find out he did it through tweeting rather than an official proclamation. Some wonder at times why the church would acknowledge or be part of this celebration. I would say we do it out of a sense of justice and an acknowledgement of just how important this community of people are to our life in the church. The idea of Pride Week and or events was to stand up to a world that far more chose to shame these people than to accept or honor them. The church shared in that penchant for shame instead of acceptance, and so we have some atoning to do. But we now show up, I believe, to celebrate all the amazing good that has come to our church through this community, through these people, that we finally got there. It took the Episcopal Church far too long to get to a sense and practice of equality when it comes to the sacraments of our church, and even in our continued faults around this, I believe we have been enriched by breaking down these barriers. And I also would say I thank God for the courage, the strength, and the fortitude of all those in this community who stuck it out with us, even when we were far less than accepting, welcoming, or just. Most of all, we all know in this world and in our church, there's work yet to do in this area and in so many others. Thank God for all of you. Bless you all. And we wish nothing but the best for all Pride activities for this year. And pray that through those and many other acts, we might bring this world closer to the dream God has for us all. Blessings to each and every one of you. Mm -hmm.